when I broke my neck in 1977, um, accessibility in Chicago and around the country was not to be seen. It was sort of like moving around a third world country in many respects if you were in a wheelchair. And um, it took me a while to really grasp that this was a matter of discrimination. It really took a while for me to let go of my belief that I just had to suck it up, you know, basically and accept my limitations. Um, and I learned that through the people featured in this film. I was able to see firsthand what they had accomplished in Berkeley. I was able to all of a sudden change my paradigm and realize that my wheelchair wasn't too wide for the doors. The doors were too narrow for my wheelchair. It brought back so many memories. Um, during the period when the ADA was being crafted, I was the president of the National Council on Independent Living. So there were a lot of little personal vignettes that weren't in the film, but I remember every single one of the ones that were featured. It was a great honor to be part of this film, uh, to be featured along with people like Justin Dart, Ed Roberts, Judy Human. These were my heroes, you know, the people who led the movement before I was even disabled, so to have been incorporated in the film, even in a small way, really, I think, uh, is a great honor. Well, there were so many things about the film that I loved because it brought back so many memories. I particularly loved uh, Pat Wright's comments about uh, do, do you, when Senator Kennedy asked her if someone, if if President Bush might read the bill. And she said, no, nah, don't worry about it. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I loved seeing the young girl climbing up the stairs uh, with such fierce determination. She understood why she was climbing, even at that young age.